Hey guys, um, so I added some audio tracks to um, our Sunday service this week and we'll probably keep this going. So what I did here was um, when we get to communion, we'll have a communion message. Uh, I think it, it's actually coming right after the sermon. So um, I don't know if, uh, if Willie ends on this slide with uh, a communion message and prays for the passing of the trays. You might just want to skip this first slide because this next slide is exactly the same, except it's got an audio background. And the way I do that and proclaim is you click this uh, speaker icon. And um, what I've got is an audio track of the heart of worship. So no lyrics to it, no, uh, no vocals. So I picked that. Um, and... Uh, then on the contribution slide is I picked this icon and I said, you know what? I want you to stop playing audio when you get to this cue. So um, I stopped the background audio. So if the, so the song is going to play through just once and that's it. But if you go to the next slide before the song is done, then this cue this uh, slide will actually stop that audio cue from playing. So anyway, that's one of the ways that you want to use audio backgrounds for some of your slides. Um, also, what I did up here for the pre-service loop is I have audio playing during the pre-service loop, and that's just a bunch of different songs. So what I'm going to do, I'll do the same thing for the post-service loop, and I'll show you exactly how um, I added these audio tracks. So I'll click on this uh, speaker icon again and I'll browse my audio. Whole bunch here. There's some that are marked as background music. So all I want is my background tracks. So I'll just shift click as many of these that I want. Uh, sorry, this is taking a second here. Unfortunately, you can't shift click top to bottom and select everything. Maybe I can do control A or um, Apple A, whatever it is. Uh, I'll try that <clears throat> after I get off this video. But anyway, I know that this works. So I'm adding all these to the loop. So there's a difference between adding it to the loop and adding it to the actual slide. What I want is I want if you add tracks to the slides, then when this automatically goes after five seconds from one slide to another, it would start a different track and it would it would sound really weird. So what I want is I want those tracks playing during the, the entire loop. So that's why I selected this icon here. Now I'm going to click on it again. Um, you can't really see what I'm looking at. Let's see if we can do it at the top. Yeah, there we go. So what I want to do is I want to shuffle these songs and I want to play it until the end of the entire section. I don't want to play it um, just once through because I want it to loop no matter how long I have it playing. Um, I could play until stopped, which would mean that it would start here and it would continue all the way through the service until I actually go and stop it or until I find one of these stop icons here. Um, so I only want it to play during this section. So no matter how many times this section loops around, it's going to keep shuffling and playing these songs. And then when I come out of this section, go to the warm up section, it'll stop playing. So I'm going to do the same thing down here. Uh, yeah, you can see it. So I don't want it and uh, the playlist. Yeah, um, that's fine. Because this is after the whole service is done. I don't really have to worry too much about when it actually stops. Um, so end of playlist means it'll play through this playlist only once and then it'll stop. So And I'll shuffle those songs as well. So that's it. Just wanted to give you an intro to how I put background tracks on our slides. <laughs>